Hey guys, I'm Emily Powers, and today we're going to be painting this rose. I think it'll be really fun. I love this kind of color on, in roses. It's just really pretty to me. Um, it's probably going to be a little bit harder, uh, a little bit of a harder painting, just because, you know, doing the shape of the petals is a little bit harder, but um, it's going to be done step by step in acrylics, and... The canvas panel I'm using is a 9x12 canvas panel. It's Phoenix brand. Um, the paint colors I'm using are titanium white, cadmium red medium, cadmium yellow medium, phthalo green, dioxazine purple, and raw umber. You could probably use burnt umber. It's just a little uh, more muted, so it's probably more like burnt umber with some black in it. Um, and the uh, brushes I'm using, I'm going to be using a half-inch filbert, mainly for the background, and a half-inch mop, also for the background for doing the blending, making it look fuzzy. And then a 3 8 inch angle shader for the rose mainly, and a little rosebud in the back. And then a round um, for the smaller areas. So, I let's see. I um pre pre drew this um just so that I could have it the way I wanted it to be, and then I could just kind of trace over and show you kind of how I did it. So, if you mark in the middle, this is a watercolor pencil, so you can wipe it off with water. Um, then it'll be just slightly over from that, maybe like. Uh, an inch or a little less than an inch and then if you mark it this way then it's just below that so it's kind of how you can measure where the middle is and you can also do the outer edges sometimes that'll help so that you won't end up like getting one side way further than you need to so the first edge is kind of um, if you mark the middle, it's kind of about the same with the way as the middle is to the uh, middle of the rose is to the middle of the canvas. So it's about the same distance to the edge there. And then on this side, if you do it in fourths up and down, then, whoops, let me do that. It'll come off when I paint it. <laughs> um, if this is the fourth, then it's like just right here. So there's kind of two petals. It's kind of squiggly, but it's, I guess, kind of the eighth mark is kind of where that would be, I guess. And then the top and bottom of it, if you mark it in the middle, and then do fourths. It's really, this big petal is really um, just right above the, the bottom of the canvas there. Sorry, there was a fly if you saw me doing like this over here. There was a fly. <laughs> I think that, it seems like that fly has been there for like days. It was in my last video that I did. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, so you mark the middle again. Then, I guess it's on the fourth. It's kind of where that top is. So if you kind of do a mark for the sides, it'll kind of help you to not get a petal like way out there. Okay, so there's just kind of this petal that kind of loops and so these petals and roses are so different, you know, each petal is going to be a little different. So if your rose looks totally different from this, it's okay because, you know, there's probably some rose that looks like that. <laughs> I mean, you know, every rose is going to be different. So if you get your petals different, as long as it looks like a flower, it's good. So. Just kind of do this little swooping thing from the middle here. And the, the very middle has like a little dark spot. It's kind of squiggly on the line there. And then below that, there's like a petal that kind of comes. And it's really like kind of overlapping. It's like the same petal. It's just kind of curving like that. So that's what we're doing there. And... The same petal 
comes out over this way. So that's the end of this petal right here, it's the same petal. And then it kind of swoops up a little bit, there's another bend in it. Okay, and then below that there's a mark that comes down and then comes back up and in. And if, you know, because this is a video, if I am drawing too fast, you can just pause it at whatever point you need. Um, let's see. Then there's like a swooping line this way. So it's, you know, it's dividing into different sections with different shapes. And then this petal, this is all one petal right here. Or, well, actually, it kind of cuts off right here. There's another petal, but these, this is one petal, so it's kind of looping up like that, and that's why you're seeing that raised area. And then there's a petal that kind of comes right there. It's like almost pointing straight at us, and you can kind of see the back kind of fading in there. And then, let's see, uh, above these two points, there's this big petal here. So let's kind of mark it uh, right here, and it comes down and out, and then down like that. So it's just like the swivel, squiggly line up and then down, and then it comes up and around. So this, this, this is all one petal. So it's coming up and then looping that way. So this is the part that's coming up. And it goes down and then the other part comes up and goes back down. So you can see this is the petal we're doing. So this is all one petal all around here. It's, it's very, uh, it's a funny petal right there, but. And then you mark down, and there's an, the rest of the petal comes up and around. And there's gonna be like some, you know, it's gonna be a little uh, ruffled in certain areas. We'll just paint that in. You don't necessarily have to draw in each little thing. Okay? And then the back side of that is just kind of uh, curved. And there's, let's see, what will be the next petal? Right along this edge, there it kind of keeps going and then comes back into this petal here. And then there's a petal that comes up, up and around. There's like a little point there and a little dip there. And it comes and meets this bottom here. A little past the triangular mark. And then um, there's a petal right up below where this starts curving. It's going to be right next to that and it's going to come, actually not that, it kind of comes in like this. It's not, um, it's not out that far. See this is why watercolor <laughs> pencil comes in handy because if you're using like a graphite then you have to like actually erase it with the eraser and you get the stuff everywhere. So that's why I like to use these. And it kind of has some ruffles and it comes up and curves in right here. So past where this one curved is where that curve's going to be. And then a little down from where, where this, this is like the ruffle and this is where it ends. So right kind of in between there, there's a petal that comes out. And then right before it gets to the tip of this, it kind of goes in and back out. And then comes around and then goes down. So you have these two sections uh, with space in the middle here. 
and then there's a big petal. All these rest, the rest of these petals are gonna start getting bigger. Actually, I didn't mark that. Sometimes it um, with roses, at first your eye makes you think that it's like, you know, just one petal that goes all the way around, and then you realize, you know, where the petals end. So you have to kind of really look at where where they stop and start. Okay, so in between this little uh, doodly here, this little triangle, and then the uh, dip in, right in between there, petal comes out and kind of points up. There's a little point there, comes back around, up and down. And then when this starts uh, going up, it actually comes up about right there. So it comes up and dips in and then comes out and comes in right about where this petal stops. All right, and then this petal, this is one big petal here. So it's gonna come, it's gonna start kind of where this one comes in and it's gonna, it's pretty much like a big circle with a little, a little uh, end in here. And it stops uh, about where this ruffle is on this petal. And then um, another petal comes out here from that one and goes out and around. There's a little point here below where this point was on this petal. And it comes out and back down. to this one, and then there's one that comes off of it, and then it goes down and back around and down in between these two little squigglies on this one. So if you can mark a little bit of the ruffles, um, and you know, the major, you know, ones that really go down, then you can kind of use that to tell where the next petal starts and stops. And then right next to this one, comes up and kind of points and then comes down pretty quickly down and out and comes in uh, right right down below this little one here and then across from that there's this petal that comes down and then back in um, well, before you get to the end of this, so it's actually kind of lower than that, I guess. And then it comes back up and down, and then points, and then comes and tucks back behind this one. So this and this is one petal. It just kind of got a little ruffle in there. Okay, and then there's like, um, for some of the background stuff, there's just kind of a leaf here, a leaf here, and then um, on this petal here, right above this little uh, point here, is where the rosebud's going to come in, and you can just kind of do like a, a uh, bud shape. And then right here is kind of where the stalk stops and the flower starts. And there's going to be a flower that comes out and hits this flower and comes back in. There's another little leaf tucked back here, down here. And then there's this dark area right in between and your Michael leaf is still on the bud right here. And then just some little, I don't know exactly what that is up at the top, some kind of greenery or something. And then there's, there's some leaves and stuff back here, but I didn't want to really draw that in because it's really fuzzy and blurred. So you can see there's some green back here, but it's far back and I didn't want to get 
anyone confused thinking it's a petal or anything. Okay, so I'm gonna I have a spray bottle here. I'm just gonna spray my paint to keep it wet and spray my canvas to help the paint go on better. Now the first layers are gonna be really ugly, so just know that right now. The background is gonna be really ugly. It's gonna it's not gonna look good. <laughs> You're gonna think, oh my goodness, what is she doing? But don't worry, the, it's gonna be kind of see-through on the first layer, um, and then um, when we do the next layer and we use the mop brush, it'll it'll cover better. Okay, so I got titanium white and raw umber. If I say burnt umber, I mean the raw umber. I'm probably gonna say that at some point. So I'm just making like a light brown and there's kind of several colors back here so there's like a light brown and a light green so I'm going to take some of the green and do that and I'm going to add some of the raw umber to it just to make it not such like a bright wild color and then there's let's see um See here, and we're just gonna kind of figure this out as I go along. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some of this cadmium red medium. So that has a little bit of green in it now, and this has some of the green and brown in it now too, because there's kind of some reddish colors in here also. Uh, so I'm going to start up here so that I won't stick my hand in it later. And this needs to be a lot more reddish for the reddish areas. You know, maybe there are some other flowers like far out in the background or something. And don't worry if you go over part of your drawing. Just try not to get over too far into it because you will have to kind of cover over that. But don't worry too much about it if you get some in there. Don't worry. Just if you, the more careful you are, the better or faster it will be later. Um, you can cover over it. That's a good thing about acrylics. You can cover over mistakes, but it's really nice when you don't have to do that. I know um, I, when I was younger, or when I, would, when I started painting, even after I had been painting a while, and I would watch like YouTube videos, and they would say, um, you don't have to worry about going over it. And then I would go over it and I would have such a hard time going, you know, covering it up later. I mean, I could cover it up, but I was kind of being a little, I should have been more careful. Even though I didn't have to be, I can cover it up. It just saves more time when you're careful on the first time, so. Just realize, you know, you can do it. It just might be a little bit harder than if you were careful in the beginning. Okay, so I'm just kind of kind of going in between these different colors and um, just kind of putting it where I see it. So I got the picture off of Pixabay. Um, might take you a little bit to find it. I don't know exactly if it was like at the top or I kind of go through a few pages sometimes when I'm looking at pictures, but You should be able to find it if you take it long enough I'm just going to go over The little spiky things and I'm going to go around that So, I thought I'd say, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad you found me. I do a new video every Friday, so 
if you want to learn to paint or just like watching somebody else paint, um, please subscribe. I have some like beginner tutorials and then some harder ones. This is going to be a harder one. Um, so that there's a little bit of a variety. Next month though, this is the last painting that I'm doing this month. So next month, I've made the schedule, I'm going to show it at the end of this video. Um, it's going to be all for beginners. So I'm not going to have any harder ones. It's going to be all for beginners. So it's going to be kind of like beginner month. <laughs> And, um, really, this isn't, the reason, I, I wouldn't say that the painting really is hard, just that, um, you know, it can be a little hard when there's so many little petals, so many little areas, it can be a little bit hard to tell one from another. That's why I consider this harder. Um, but just, I mean, even if you're a beginner or uh, maybe not a super new beginner, but like if you, even if you're fairly new to painting, if you want to do this, go ahead and try it because, I mean, it, you could end up really liking it. And even if you don't, you can just, you know, you know, find out that you can't do it and then you can try a little later when you feel that you can do it and... Because, I mean, sometimes um, one person thinks that something's hard when someone else thinks that it's super easy. So, you may think that, well, this is easy. Why did she say that it was hard? So, and that would happen with me. If I would, when I would watch videos, I would, it could go either way. I would do it and they would say that it's harder and I'm like, well, this, this wasn't really that hard for me. And then there would be other times where they would say that it's easier and it's like, okay, this isn't very easy for me. So to that person, it may be harder or easier, but it doesn't necessarily mean it would be for you. So they're just kind of giving you a guess of how hard they'll think they think it'll be. But you can always try it. Don't like wait five years to do this just because you think that you're not going to be able to do it. Because that whole time you may have been able to and we're just putting it off, so. Okay, so I'm getting close to, it's actually coming out pretty good. I mean, it's still ugly, but, you know, for the ugly part, it's it's pretty good. And I, I think it's, I'm doing a pretty good job this time of keeping it out of the flower. I don't normally do that good at that. I kind of tend to like hurry up and then end up having to take forever. Like I said, covering it up later, but it's actually not doing too bad today. So. And these colors are actually a lot darker than we're going to have later, but right now I'm just kind of getting the color in, not the light and dark. I'm just kind of getting something similar because we're going to have to go over anyway. Alright, so way back in here is all that green that we see. So I'm just going to put that in. add a little bit of the dioxazine purple that will also darken it a little bit it'll darken it in a different way but it'll obviously make it a little more purple but it'll give us another color it's really not changing it that much it's kind of staying pretty the same pretty much the same
This is a lighter colored rose though, so it should be a little easier to, to get those colors in. In the rose, cause um, if they're like really bright red, then transparent reds, if you're using transparent reds, it can be hard to get, get them covering the edges. I know I, I use transparent red. I should probably try out an opaque red to see if I like it. I've never tried them before. Okay, so I'm just mixing more purple with the green. So now it's it's very purpley. So these leaves right here are gonna be more purple. And they're gonna they're a little bit more in focus than the greenery around them. perfectly in focus, but all right so there's the background I think that's pretty good for the first uh, layer and it, it is almost 30 minutes into the video. These roses, they come out really pretty, just they take a while because of the drawing. The drawing <laughs> takes quite a bit of time and really just the fact that there's all these little sections that makes it take a lot of time. But it really doesn't feel like that long just because it's fun. <laughs> I just really like the, the color of this rose and the background is fun. The rosebuds like that are fun. It's kind of a little bit of blurry of a rosebud. I don't know if I'm gonna blur it out. I think I'll blur it out a little bit. Okay, so now we can start on the rose. So I'm gonna grab the 3 8 inch angle brush, dip it in my water, and let's see, I think I'm going to start in the middle and work my way out to the edges. So, you know, I might just fill in this, this thing, little bud here, well, quick. Here, let me uh, add some white to it. It'll cover better and then later we can go back and brighten it up. So I'm doing the cadmium red and white. I'm getting more white just to cover that edge and then it's yellow down here. There's like a white edge goes around. Okay, and then it's like a purple center here. The, it's purple just like the leaves are purple. It's pretty much the same, or not the same, but similar color in there. And I'm going to get this dark red for the outside. And get some water if you need it, if it's like not wanting to really you can get water and it'll help it get on there. Get some green. Several colors in this rose bud here. And then 
get white. I still got green on my brush. And put it in right here. Probably be it'll, some of this will probably get covered up when we do the next layer, but it's kind of fuzzy anyway, so we're gonna fuzz out the edges when we do the last layer of this. So So it's a very funky looking rosebud right there at the moment, but it'll get better. It is very funky. <laughs> it's a very, very weird looking rosebud. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to rinse all those colors out because I don't want to get my flower messed up. Okay, so you just start in the middle and see. I'm going to get this red with a little bit of purple to darken it. And then I'll just go in this middle here. You know, that is why I got the round brush out <laughs> so that I can do the middle without having to be so careful with it. I'll switch back to the angle brush in a minute, but okay, so yellow and it's it's got a lot of white in it, so add a little bit of white and I've got a little bit of the red. It's not really yellow, it's more like an orange. Just slightly orange. Okay, that's pretty good, I think. So I'm gonna put that in here and it kind of does this little squiggly thing into this part. And it starts getting darker, so I'm gonna kind of mix this up for the next color next to it. Starts turning this like orange color. And just like the background, I wasn't being super picky with it. I'm not going to be super picky with the colors. I'm going to be careful with it. I'm just not going to do the colors exactly like I'm going to do it later because I don't want to We're going to have to probably do another layer, so. I'm going to try to be careful and do the right colors so that hopefully I don't have to do another layer because, I don't know, with these lighter colors, I may not have to. But in case I do, I... Let's see, I can't, so I can't uh, figure out what is I'm trying to say here. I may have to do this again, so I'm going to try to be as careful as I can because hopefully I won't have to do it another time, but I'm going to try to get, get it close. Okay, and then it gets really, really light in here. It's like this little pocket here. OK, 
Okay, and then I'm going to get the red um, more by itself for like a dark color for in here in the crevices where it's shadowed. And the watercolor pencils, I'm going to try to get the watercolor pencil off at the same time. So I'm getting this middle red. I'm going to go under here where it's it was a little darker. Okay. Blending. So let's, let's see. Maybe I can. Uh, Zoom in just a little bit and show those colors there so that you can see the center a little good, a little better. Now I kind of can't show the palette and zoom in at the same time unless it's just not zoomed in a whole, whole lot. So I'm going to mix a little bit more of this yellow, light, lightest color, because it's kind of getting low or dirty. I think it might have had a little bit of other colors in it, so I want to get that clean color. Okay. On the edge of this petal is that color, and it's going to turn a little more orange as it goes down in here. I just really love these colors in a rose. It's just so pretty. It's almost like a sunset in a rose. <laughs> it's really, really like it. And then I'm going to get the next red color. So we have like the light yellow, then like a yellow orange, then like an orange red, and then red. <laughs> it's kind of what we have. So right now I've got the orange red third color. And every once in a while we may kind of put in another color. You know, like a purple or something for like a really dark area, but and I don't know, these colors are so light, um, if it was like a really bright red, you'd probably have to go over a second time, because um, you'd probably have to go over the first time with some white so that it didn't have weird streaks, and then we'd probably have to go in another time with um, the bright red, but because these are kind of the colors that the rose is already, we may not really have to do any other layer, but this, we'll see how it goes. So I'm skipping colors and going to the more red color. So 
So it kind of quickly changes. I want to show that. And there's like a red line that kind of goes in between them. And this color here is kind of the Now, I hate to have to do this. All the colors, all the colors will be in the description. Uh, so I would always check when you, if you are following along with one of my videos, always check um, in the description for what I'm using before you start painting it because sometimes I will add a color or a brush that I didn't know I was going to use. So I'm adding deep magenta because I'm seeing pink in it and I can't get that kind of pink with the red. So, okay, so I'm going to rinse this brush out now for the moment. Well, I don't know. I want to rinse it out, but, um, I was going to switch brushes, but I don't think I'm going to switch quite yet. I could wait on that. Okay, so, because I'm seeing, I see like some pink right here, and I, I think I actually need the pink to get that. So, so I'm going to add, I'm going to take the deep magenta and kind of water it down some. And if this is already dry, you can kind of brush in these dark areas some of the pink just to kind of get that in there so it won't just be like once we get to the outer edges boom we have pink we kind of want to slowly add it I'm going to add some right in the middle So yeah, when I, what I do is I pick out the colors and brushes I think I'm going to use and then at the end I put all of the brushes and colors that I actually used in the description. So if I like end up not using a color or adding a color or any, you know anything like that, it'll be what I actually use will be in the description. So so that you won't like I might you know, say at some point that I'm going to use a certain brush or a certain color that I don't end up using. So instead of waste, you know, putting it out on your palette and then not end up using it, you could just look in the description to see if I ever use it. That will possibly save you paint if I ever, <laughs> ever do that. I don't think I've done that yet. I think I've done it with brushes, said I was going to use one and then not used it. I don't think I've done it with paint. I've used at least a little bit of it, but okay, so I'm just starting on this petal. I'm not going to say every time when I'm getting a new color because I'm just going to be basically using the same colors. Just whenever I get a, you know, I, I do something a little different than what I've been doing, then I'll say, say that. Okay, so I kind of added some more yellow to this, so it's, um, actually can't see that. I added a little bit more yellow, um, to it, and so now it doesn't have quite as much white. It's going to be a little brighter. that around here because it's not as the white kind of dulls the color a little bit or and it you know it lightens it and dulls it slightly so if it doesn't have white then it'll be really bright and it's really bright right here so and I might 
add a little bit of this in some of these areas that um, have a little bit brighter orange and then take a wet brush and kind of blend it in so that it doesn't have a hard edge or anything like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more red to this brighter orange. Okay, now I'm going with just red for these outer edges of this petal. Trying to blend it. Getting like a bright orange again. I'm going against this. It's kind of bright on this little squiggle here that it does. And then it kind of darkens as it goes out. bit of pink to the red right in these dark areas okay okay so I'm rinsing my brush out to mix pink and the red with some white so that it'll cover so if there are areas that the color is kind of bold and you have to add white to get it to cover into a smooth blend then we probably go back do another layer on that. But for these areas that are kind of already light, probably just stick to what we have. And I'm going to add a little bit of purple to my red. Kind of mixing more red and a little bit of purple in a different spot than what we had the white in just so it'll get a little darker okay here we go so 50 minutes it's not that's not bad for this kind of painting. Okay, so I guess the next petal would be this one that's like really big and loops. So I'm gonna take this cadmium red medium and deep magenta white mixture and put that along here and then I'm going to take the I think it was cadmium red and a little bit of purple these right here 
can do that. It's getting kind of darker over here. I don't know. Oops. I don't know why it seems very watery. I'll do that again. Okay, so these petals will definitely need more coats. I think as we go out, they're going to need more coats. I was hoping I wouldn't have to, because that would save time, but I guess we will. Okay, so we're going to take the bright yellow color and put that. take the color we just used on this other petal and kind of bring it out and so we can see it's the same petal and use the mixture with the purple for this inner triangle here Get a little bit more purple. Okay. And we get that light yellow. It kind of goes right above that and down and on the edge. And then it starts with the pinkish red mixture again. Okay, we're going to add a little bit more pink to it and a little bit more white. And maybe a little bit of red. I'm just trying to get the right mixture. It's pretty pink here. Okay, that's good a whole lot more pink on the palette than it does on the <laughs> canvas. Okay, so I think we're doing pretty good. Take a little bit of that yellow, the white yellow, and kind of pull down, kind of make some streaks in that direction that it would be growing in. Okay, and then we're going to just take the red plain get this area here. It's pretty bright. Okay, and I'm going to get this pink mixture. It's like a petal that kind of came right here. Get some white just to define it a bit. We're not going to keep it like that exactly. And just that'll tell us where that is. Okay, and then get the red and the purple. Put that middle. 
well. And I might add a little bit of pink to that mixture too. So for this dark, dark area. Okay, so I think we're almost to the point where we're going to need to switch brushes, but I need to do this back area. It's a little bit of a small space, too. It's nice to have some smaller brushes for those smaller details there. Okay, so I'm getting the yellow. I'm just going to get a little extra white with that to find that edge there and then get the yellow and go back behind it. I may actually get the next color up. It's a little bit more orange. That's better. Okay, and then it's just to define that triangle again. Try to get a little bit extra white Trying to make sure you can see that it's actually very, very white. Now that I look at it. Okay, and then I'm going to take like the brighter orange, the red and the yellow that don't really have any white in them, except for what's coming off of my brush, and put that back there. And blend it. And I might take a little bit of red, just put it back there. All right, so I rinse that out and switch brushes, and I'm gonna zoom out there and I'm gonna um, pull this down so my picture doesn't cover it or it yeah my picture doesn't cover the paint okay okay so now I'm gonna switch to the 3 8 inch angle this will be better for the bigger areas so uh, there's a hair on my canvas okay so I'm going to work on this petal here. So it's very pink too. And on the borders of some of these, there's like a light yellow. So I'm going to get the light yellow real quick and just kind of do that on the border a little bit. Just for the moment, and that'll help us to uh, d distinguish the two. So I'm gonna get the pink mixture that we made. Actually, mix some more of that because it's running out. using that color there much anymore. Okay, so I'm going to use that along here. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm going to get um, this reddish color and start putting that up against there. Okay, now I'm going to take more of the brighter red, put up against it, so you can really tell. Actually, I may kind of take it and kind of pull through to the edge just to kind of get some streaks of the red in there. Gonna pull some over here to get some streaks. Okay, so that one's done for the moment. Except I think I might add, take some white and pull it this other way to give it that light color. And then it's got yellow along the edge. Okay, so I think we can do this one now. And just get that main color. It's a gnat on my, oh my goodness, it's like hair lightly bugs just like love to come to me when I'm painting. It's like ridiculous. <laughs> it's like, really? It has to be now? <laughs> I mean, they're annoying as it is, but uh, to have it, you know, when I'm painting is like, really? Okay, so now I'm going to get the red and kind of Add it in here and then pull. Then I'm going to get the white and add that on this side. And maybe a little bit right here. And I'm going to clean up that edge when I do this petal. It's kind of bumpy right now. Okay, I'm going to rinse those colors out. this one. Okay, so I'm going to get that pink again for this main part. I think water just stripped off my brush there from when I cleaned it. Kind of getting see through. Let me see if I can wipe it off. Okay, and it kind of like switches to red down in here.
curves and turns colors. Okay, so now I'm going to get the white and fall down. Okay, and then I'm going to get the more reddish pink mixture. Reddish pink. Okay, and just put that in this section. to add brighter red. So you don't have to be as careful on the outer edges until we get to this part. You have to be careful because then we can cover up with petals next to them. But when we get here, there aren't any more petals to help with that. So. start with this like reddish purple right here actually it was like red pink and purple I think color on this side. Okay, and then get the pink kind of. Just filling in with this color, and then I may go back. That petal I'm gonna have to do again, so I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I may just take a little bit of white on the tip of my brush, just for that tip of that there. Okay, and then I think I'll do this petal here. So with the petals that um, that you can see kind of way up in there, um, there's going to be a little bit of yellow. So like this one, this one, and this one, you can see a little bit of yellow. I'm going to flip this rag around so that I have a clean spot. <clears throat> Okay, so I think I'm going to start by taking the yellow and a little bit of red and white, mixing this color up again. Let's see, I may mix 
mix over here with a little bit of brighter yellow and a little bit of the orange. I'll run a little brighter and I'm just going to pull up and I may take a little bit more red. Let's see, make that um, brighter color. It's not as much white in there put some of that in it. Just pull up. Okay, and then I'm going to get some of this pink. Okay, and then I'm going to get a darker reddish pink for the rest of this petal. This is this is really coming coming out good. I think it's really pretty. It's too watered down right there. Okay, so we're going to have to go over that one again, but it's good for the moment. Okay, so we can do this one, and I'm just going to take some red with some of this color here that we have already and just use So I think I'm just going to fill this one all in with the red at the moment. And then after I'm finished, I'll add maybe some pink to it. Okay. So now I think I will take the deep magenta. And I'll add some in here. Very see through though. Okay. And we can kind of do this one. Add a little bit more white than you'll end up with on the edges. Ok, 
Okay, now I'll get some more red. This is really a bright petal. It's not as light as this, but for these outer edge edges, we'll have to lighten them up to cover. Okay, and I mean that's pretty by itself, but we'll make it even prettier. I'm just going to get that extra paint out on my brush now. Okay. I think I might not even really see it. I'm running out of the red. Put on these edges, I might not really even put that much detail. Just kind of fill it in with like one color and then come back because to kind of cover over it a little bit when you do the second layer in the background anyway. So I think I'm just going to Add a little bit more white along there. I'm just going to fill it in and just avoid the areas that are yellow. Just fill those in with yellow. Let me get there. Right here. Okay, and then the yellow. Okay, and then this petal has yellow. Sorry, I don't, not talking a whole lot. I don't really, it's like I say the majority of what I need to say at the beginning and then I don't really have a whole lot to say towards the end. We have, um, or at least we had, I, I think they're still out there, some roses outside and I took a picture and actually, they came out really good, like, 
I normally, I don't know, it's just, I don't take pictures of stuff a whole lot, but when I do, they just don't really look like, you know, very good to paint. They're, you know, they're a cute picture, just, it's, you know, all the colors are kind of similar, but it had some, like, really bright areas in it, and I was thinking, actually, that's pretty good. I think that would be a good painting. So, you never know. I might end up using my photo one day from that picture. Okay, so I'm going to add white on the edge. Make sure I cover it all real good. Okay, and then this final petal. I didn't mention um, if you do paint this, you can share it with me on my Facebook group, Powers Paint and Post. And let me see it. I would like to see how you did this. And you can do that with any of the paintings that you do from my tutorials. Okay, so one more petal here. So I'm just fill that in solid. Okay, and now we can do rest on the background. And then we can finish that. Looks a lot lighter in the uh, camera. It also looks a lot more ugly. <laughs> better at my angle than it does up above. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to get the um, so I'm going to get the filbert the half inch filbert and the mop brush. I'm going to use both of them. So so that I can clear this. I'm going to 
scrape what's on here off. Try to get it clean. little pieces now. Okay. So I'm going to mix up some new colors now that that's gone. So I'm going to dip my brush in water and I'll get, first of all, there's dark green, so I'm going to get the green and the purple and the raw umber. Just make that. And I'll just... Take that in that corner there. And then I'm going to get the raw umber and some white. And a little bit of the red. A little bit of the pink. And put that up against there. Okay, and then I'm going to blend them. Okay. Just kind of do it in circular motions. There's a little bit of green here. Okay, and I'm gonna get the red and the pink and the brown. I'm just going to mix these different colors together. And we'll get some of the green just put right in that center. I'll make like a darker pinkish color. Far when you can tell it's there, but it's still very muted.
get some white so that I can have like a another green here. It's nice because you don't have to worry about it getting muddy because it's green and red being opposite on the color wheel because it's already it's going to it has brown in it so you really don't have to worry about that Okay, I'm gonna mix the green that's got some yellow in it. And a little bit of brown just to mute the color. Okay, so it's, it's pretty good. I think this background I'll stick to, I'll just get this all covered and then that'll be good for the background and then we can move on to the rosebud. starts getting green right here the pop pockets 
shades of green. Okay, let me uh, get more of the brown. And while I'm doing that, I'll get more the white too. I have to use the rag to open these because my hand will not get a good grip on this kind of bottle unless I unless I don't close it tight. But if you, you don't close it tight, your paint might dry. I don't want that. I've never had it happen to me before, but I don't want to test it <laughs> out and see will it dry because that would be bad. Okay. And your paint needs to be um, close to the same um, like moisture level for it to blend well. So you can't have it, um, it won't blend as good if it's like one's super dry and one's super wet. It won't, it won't do very good. green back here. I'm going to rinse my brush out and try to get some more red in there. I'm trying not to touch the petals as much as I can. Okay, there's like a green blob back here that's kind of blurry. Try to kind of show that a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to do the purple leaves, so I'm getting the purple and the 
magenta and some white. And there's a fly again. My goodness. They just really love me. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to get a little bit of green in it. That'll dull it. more pink and then more brown okay so I'm going to kind of blend it a little bit show its fuzzy edges And then I'm going to do a little bit of white with it. Do a little bit and kind of leave a little area where it's dark so it looks like a vein. Use the mop brush to kind of blend it <clears throat> and do some lighter areas over here. All right, and there's like a dark purplish thing here. more greenery foliage coming. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to wash that out now and we can work more on the flowers. The flower and the rosebud. I might have to pause the video and uh, clean my water because it's like really dirty. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to take my, hmm, my round brush, I think it would be best, and I'm going to get this um, dark color here that I made. And put that as the stalk stem. some purple for that part right there and I'm going to take the mop brush try to get the water out
gonna put some green around the edges of that. some light to this green that we had. Against there, and we're gonna take the yellow. We're gonna add some yellow or uh, white to the yellow. Okay, and put it right there, and then get like. this side. And then I'm getting more white on the edge. I'm gonna have to lighten that up later. to this green. Mix it a little bit with what we had over there. So now I'll get the angle brush and I'll work on these flower, the main flower. So I'm getting red and some of this dark color there. I don't know exactly what that was. I'm just filling in a few of these areas didn't get good the first time. And I need more pink. fill in these areas here.
Okay, and I'm just trying to make streaks in this there. Okay. And I'll do some more on this one. It's got some good streaks, but it's see-through, so I'll fix that. Okay, and I'm going to put some more red over these areas, but then get the Okay, and then we put red there. trying to get it to blend good and it's kind of not really working with me. <laughs> okay. And now, let's see, I'll get the red and some purple and some pink for this one. And then just the red. And then I'll get some of this lighter pink mixture. Oh my goodness, this fly. It's driving me crazy. Okay, now I'm getting like a more reddish, light reddish color. Okay, I'm just putting some reddish in some of those. the purple for the right there in that area and then we get the red
some white right here. Right here. Okay, we're getting close to the end. I'm just gonna get some more yellow right in there. get the right color before I put it down. Okay, I'm gonna get more red brush down. Okay, and this petal's got more pink in it than I did it, so I'm going to put a little bit more pink. Okay. Put this color right here on this one, and I'll get the red. This one, so I'm changing that a little bit. Okay, and then I'll take some pink and put it in here. Give it another color. Okay. I'm gonna put this straight red in this. Uh, darker parts of this one. And then I'll start adding pink. I'll do more pink.
be a little lighter than that. some of the deep magenta to kind of change it a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to get red and pink, mainly red in these outer edges. Lighten it up a little bit. Okay. There's like really, this is really bright red. It's kind of a bright red too. I accidentally got some green in there, but I was kind of trying to get some dark kind of darkness in it anyway, so I'm just going to try to take some of it out. Okay, I think this is the last petal. 
go. Okay, and I'm getting this, I guess, pinkish red, I think, is what it was. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just going to work on finishing it. So, like adding the white areas, the highlight parts. So, just a few little streaks here and there. Okay, so I'll let that dry just for a minute, and I'll get the purple and the brown. And I'm going to do right in here. And then I'm going to put a little bit of purple in this area. There's like some red that kind of crosses over into it. Okay, now I'm going to get the white Okay, and on the edges, there's some. Okay, and now for the rest of them, I'm not going to make them white, I'm going to make them like a light, lighter color. So I'm just mixing up pinkish red.
okay. I think it's really good. I like it. I'm just going to lift it up because the glare on it is making it to where I can't see it as good. So I'm going to be able to lift it up so I can look at it better at my angle. yellowy orange mixture and put the edge of this with a slight light yellow to put a little bitty bit on these areas that I see have just a little tiny bit of yellow or white mainly in the areas that they dip and curve So now I'm going to take some do to it but I think that's pretty good so I'm going to um, let's see Just looking at it some more seeing if there's anything else I want to do I think I'm going to take some of this white with some of this purple and it's going to be dry brushing, so I don't have a whole lot of um, paint. And I'm just going to brighten that up a little bit. and kind of um, soften it up a little bit. There we 
go. All right. I like it. It's really, really pretty. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to take my um, Faber Castell Fit Artist Pen and sign it. There's our rose. I, I really like it. It's really pretty and yeah, I, I really love these colors. I think it came out uh, pretty close to the picture. Um, I, I just, I can't say how much I like it. <laughs> I can't really uh, get words on how much I like it. Just some paintings, you know, you kind of do on me and you're like, eh, like, I don't know, I don't really like that one, or it's not my favorite, but I, I really like this one, it's pretty. Okay, so this was May schedule, and it's not here anymore, so this is June, so it, my printer doesn't do well in blue for some reason, it just, it never does, so this is supposed to be blue, not pink, but, um, so we have the little cat, that it's going to be a super easy, these are, this is the easy month, so this is all for beginners. Um, they may, sometimes I think it'll be easy and it turns out not to be quite as easy as I thought. So probably the one that will, would be hardest would probably be this one. Um, but I've done this one before and that one's easier. I wouldn't say it's like a first time pain, painting, but it's more of a beginner. And then this one would be super easy. And I think this should be easier, the little jellyfish. He's a cute little jellyfish. <laughs> and I really like this one. I'm going to have fun on that one. So on these two, I think we're going to do it um, up and down, vertical. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out some way to get that um, get that to fit you know in the camera with the paint and everything the picture so I'll have to figure that out but there we go there's our painting so I hope you enjoyed this if you did please hit the like button and subscribe um, I have lots of other paint tutorials on my channel and I hope you enjoyed it Thanks for watching. Bye.